Okay, welcome to the video. Six Hour Guy here. This video is going to be all about how to remove your magazine release from your grip module. I'm going to be demonstrating on this P320 grip module. The Coyote Tan will be a lot easier to see what's going on versus um, it being all black. The process is exactly the same for the 365. In fact, they look identical from the sides. Different width though, so they're not interchangeable. Okay. Uh, when SIG came out with their XL grip modules, for whatever reason, they did not include a magazine release. Obviously it costs more, um, so they didn't include it, but uh, a lot of people had a hard time getting their magazine release out of their regular 365 grip module to put into the XL grip module. So two different methods that I use. My favorite and the one that works best for me is this little Allen wrench. Some people use a paper clip. Um, it's just gotta be something really tiny um, and rigid and strong and something that doesn't flex and bend the smaller the better because you got to get in the hole and kind of wedge it like this if the item you're using is the same size as the hole it's really hard to get um, kind of a lifting motion like that the second method FDES uses it's the exacto blade knife um, he does a ton of grip modules so he's got to remove all of these mag releases before he seracotes them so this way works great for him so uh, with that let's get set up and we'll go over the allen wrench method first Okay, before I go and show you how to take this apart, sometimes it's easier to understand of how it works um, before we take it apart. That way it's easier. So there's three pieces here. Do not lose this little spring, okay? This little spring will actually fall out once we remove this mag release, so don't lose this. And then we have this little wedge that captures the mag release, mag catch, whatever you want to call it, um, right there. So there is a little... You can't see it right yet, but there's a little lever on this little wedge that is hooked on a notch inside this release. So when we go to remove this, we're going to go through this hole here, which will push on that little release and it'll allow this wedge to come out. Okay. And this is what we're talking about right here. This little piece here is hooked inside that mag release. So when we push here, it moves it that way, and it allows this wedge to come out. On our mag release, this little lip here is what that piece of plastic is caught on. And you can see the little hole here. When we insert our tool, it's going to push that wedge away from the mag release and allow it to come straight out. Okay. So those are the three parts and pieces that make that up. So let's get one removed. Okay, to remove it, you can see it's flush here. What we need to do is press it like that so we can see the hole in the back side. Okay. So what I usually do is I hold it like that with my finger. I insert my tool into the hole and I just push in, lift up, push in, lift up, push in, lift up, over and over. And you can see that just walked right out. Do it over again for you. Push that like that. I'm going to push in and then go like that. And the end of my pick is going to push in on that little lever, but move it up at the same time. Just like that. Then we'll remove that little ledge. We'll let this drop out. And like I said, don't be careful not to lose your little spring there. Okay. So that is the Allen wrench method that I think works very easy. So next, let me put this back together and we'll go over the uh, razor blade method. Okay, this next method, the first time I saw it was FDES um, demonstrated it, removing the mag release from grip modules. So um, exacto blade knife, we need a really long, pointy, straight razor blade here. I've tried other razor blades that don't really work but this one gets it done every time. So uh, the trick to this one is you got to get it in far enough. Just having the very tip of it in there isn't going to do anything because this ledge right here, we have to go at least that deep. And then this shelf where the wedge captures, we have to go a little bit below that. So as you can see, we need to be probably in, you know, at least that much 
in order for that little wedge to be clear of the magazine release here, okay? So the way I do this is I hold it just like this. I point the razor blade away from my hand. That way if it slips, I'm not gonna cut myself. And then you basically, I'm putting it in the slot towards the front like this, and I'm work, wiggling it and working it till it slides down inside there, okay? Just like that. So you can see I'm in quite a bit, all right? So when I release this mag release, the spring is just basically gonna push the mag release itself out, and then the uh, wedge will kind of stay there until everything else falls out, so. You can see how my mag release is already coming out. And then we'll just let it fall out the rest of the way. Just like that. So be very careful. Raise the blade. Don't want anybody cutting themselves. So lastly, let's show you how to put this back together and wrap this up. Okay, so when we put this back together, I basically just hold this like that. I put the little spring in the little notch there and I position my grip module straight up and down. Start working that into the hole there. And then I'll take my middle finger of the other hand and put it through the mag well there and hold up on that magazine release. It wants to fall down and then the spring falls off and you got to kind of do this over and over uh, until you get it right. So um, I basically wiggle this back and forth as I'm pushing it in. That way it lines up with the other side here. And then on our little wedge here, it's shaped like a V. We want that open end, the open slice part there facing up. And I want that little wedge that we were pushing in on facing me. Just like that. I'm gonna slide it in until I hear it click. And then that's it, just let it go. So most of my grip modules are all Cerakoted. Um, so the Allen wrench method, it works excellent for me. Um, I don't want to ruin the finish on my grip modules here. Uh, a lot of people when they're doing this and they're having a hard time with it, they stick the tool in through the hole there and then their finger gets fatigued or whatnot and they let go of the magazine release and then that leaves a nice little mark right here in your grip module. Okay. Um, with the razor blade, this little wedge here is plastic so it's very easy to cut little pieces out of that. So this method here um, works great for me. Very easy. A lot of people are probably getting mad right now because they've worked at these for half an hour, an hour, and given up. They're giving up. So there you go. That's the Allen wrench method and the razor blade method. Both work great. As always, thank you for watching and have a good day.